back to the movies made us do it. Me and Matt are back. How are you, Matt? I'm pretty good. So good stuff. I'm uh, very well. Busy, busy week, but um, I very much enjoyed uh, watching the film we're going to review today. Yes. Um, yes. So today we are reviewing Hammer's version uh, adaptation of yep. The Hound of the Baskervilles. Um, I'm curious because I know. Uh, I mean, I, I obviously I, I share your uh, your opinion on on the. Uh, quality of the two leads of this film mm-hmm. um you know christopher lee probably my favorite actor of all time um and uh peter cushing you know he's up there for me <laughs> he's, he's yeah, certainly up it's, there it's, 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 um, the rever- it's the reverse for me i prefer i you prefer I cushing i prefer cushing well yes. i love i love both although, although exactly although it's very it's, it's yeah thing. it's yeah exactly so i'm curious because you're a much bigger i think it's safe to say a much bigger sherlock holmes fan than i am i'm curious where this ranks on your sherlock holmes movie adaptation so scale this is my favorite hound of the baskervilles version sure not my favorite holmes who is your favorite holmes so it's this is a difficult is it one, basil or but it's well it's 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 a uh, it's one of those things. So depends Basil on the Rathbone. day of the week. <laughs> Basil Rathbone is is my was my first Holmes. Yeah, he was the guy that I saw first in the role mm-hmm. when I was very little, and we used to watch. Uh, I think they used to put them on during the summer holidays. The the Basil yeah, Rathbone, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you'd sort of watch them then when I was a kid, and he was the one that I watched as a kid, and was 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 that what that's what got me into Sherlock Holmes. Sure. And then uh, I saw the Jeremy Brett. ITV uh, adaptions, mm-hmm. and I think it's probably Brett is my favourite. But interesting, Rath- okay. Rathbone is, has that sort of he because he's my first Holmes. He has that special place. Yeah, 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 absolutely in my heart. Mm-hmm. So I think sometimes when you think when I when I've read the books, depending on the story, I either hear Rathbone's or Brett's voice. Depending how intense it is, I think the more intense it is, I think the more I hear Brett. Sure. Um, yeah. And the the more sort of I'm not not exactly friendly, but the more sort of like you know the, the easier the tone, the, the more I will hear Rathbones sort of. Yeah. Okay. That that makes sense. Of- that makes some sense. Um, I I really enjoyed rewatching this actually, um, and I think like rewatching it, I was like, God, I don't know if it's. I don't know that it's the best um, Sherlock Holmes adaptation, but it it certainly might be the most entertaining adaptation. <laughs> yes. um, they certainly take some liberties, but it's 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 they very do. very Hammer and it's very very fun. Yeah, they, um, I think they 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 they, um, they definitely up the, uh, the the Gothic. Oh, for sure, um, for deal. sure. And um, they also they also <laughs> make almost every character sinister as well. Yeah, I mean. In the story, most of the people are sort of. There's always something. There's a bit, a bit of hostility to, to a, a lot dodgy, of them. Something yeah. about, a bit dodgy about them. But then you're supposed to. It's a detective story. Absolutely. However, in, in this version, they they're all a bit sort of either crazy or. They're all yeah. They're all like straight out, up out. villains, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it it's fun. You can like you know logically, looking at it, the Hound of the Baskervilles was the most obvious title for hammer to take of the homes uh yeah, it's, titles it's, 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 it's the most the only, hammer-esque it's the most yeah, kind of proper gothic story of yeah the, of the, yeah uh, the, um the, the, uh homes in stories but even even saying that it's the most gothic they gothic it up another notch in this <laughs> because you yeah. know they've got all those sets left over they've got all those locations they've been to before yeah, for dracula all, and for anything else a lot of the stuff is redressed from from the the cat the castle dracula from yeah the, yeah uh, the dracula version from the year before but i kind of love it you know i kind I of do. love it for that it's great i mean even, even they even use some of the score from there is uh, moments that the the running the running bits particularly yes. are like okay that's definitely like definitely the running bits it's it's definitely the, bit, <laughs> the same shoes they use when um, uh, Dracula's getting away yes at the end, at the in the end, end yeah the, yeah yeah running through the castle yeah it, it's if it's not the same it's it's very bloody similar yeah. um but yeah so shall we shall we go through uh, through the movie as we always do get yeah. it all out of order and in the wrong you know 
Absolutely. the wrong sequence and then correct ourselves as we go excellent <laughs> um so well we open with like the most standard hammer horror <laughs> like this is a hammer movie here's your hammer yeah. horror opening uh you know the sinister music the title credits everything about yeah. it screams hammer horror yeah. um and, and i kind of love it for that I, to I be do honest as well. it's, it's great and i love that the, the first person you see is somebody coming through the window Dude, and this guy, they 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 throw this man this through the window, Parker, yeah. and and my god, I'm not kidding you, he lands in water, but his head was so close to hitting concrete <laughs> on the way down. Yeah. It's like, dude, you. I mean, I guess they don't care, but it's like you could have fucking killed that guy so easily right there. Um, yes, yeah, we 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 literally open on uh, on this man being thrown out of a window uh, into the water. He's like immediately mocked by uh, by the people that are there. Yeah. Well, is it, he says something about the he's gone from being waterfowl to guinea fowl or something. He, he, and then, and then one of them quips like, or more like guinea pig, when they, yes. they've dragged him back in in front of the fire. Um, and uh, of course, we find out why they 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 chastise him for kind of ruining their fun. Yes. Um, and he's like, you know, I wouldn't mind if it was anyone but my daughter. And you're immediately like, oh, oh shit, okay, yeah. like this is this is not good. Um, and uh we we cut to uh, to a shot of her um yes. as we see him we hear him screaming in agony yeah. um presumably because he, they've burnt his face yeah yeah the, he's he dangling him in, into the fireplace now i don't know if he's been killed or whether he's just passed out from the pain well there's um a, there's a apparently that there's a uh, a longer version of that scene where i think you see slightly more you actually oh. see him in the fire but I don't know. Yeah, like you said, I don't know whether he's dead or whether he's just passed out. I think I, my guess is that he's probably not dead, but he's not in a good way. He's not going to be very well. No, uh, no. I, I took it to be that he'd passed out from the pain. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and uh, of course, you know, I think it's Sir H Hugo, isn't it? Sir Hugo. Yes. Uh, and he's basically like, oh, I'm going to go and get him right now. Um, yeah. Of they, course, they make, they, they make the, this uh, this wager and he's. Oh, that's he's right. Yeah. I mean, the, the, um, is it David Oxley who's, who's yeah. playing? Yeah. He's oh god, he's so he, good. He's like he's chewing the scenery. Voice, he? and yeah. He's, he's full on. It was, reminded me of oh, um, uh, it's sort of like a James Masony. Yes, voice. yes, he's, yeah. He's got sort of James Mason quality to his voice, and he, he, yeah, he's like full on evil. There's like there's no real piece of shit. <laughs> like immediately, you're like oh god, this <laughs> Which guy. Which I think is, is kind of the same in the story. I, I've oh yeah, sure. He's, he's definitely set up as this full-on evil bloke yeah yeah um uh, and he, he goes up to the he goes up to the to the uh the bedroom and unlocks the door and uh finds that, that the room's empty yes and she, he is fuming he's absolutely <laughs> fuming. She, she's climbed out of the window she's had the audacity to escape them yeah how God dare she her, how dare she escape <laughs> possibly you know being murdered and raped what you know what yeah I mean, Redemption. whatever possessed her to run away. Yeah. Um, but of course, Sir Hugo thinks, you know, we can make the best of this. We'll turn it into a yeah, bit of we'll a make game. It into sport. Yeah. He pulls for his, uh, his, 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 let horse loose the pack. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, and of course, this is actually his, his, his asshole mates, actually. This is the, the, the point where they go, this oh, is a bit far, a mate. mate. <laughs> yeah. Mate, yeah. Mate, I, I think you might be taking this a bit far now. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, setting someone on fire I mean, and, and yeah, potentially exactly. trying to, to rape a woman is one thing, in but... In you know. prisoner, prisoner <laughs> potentially raping her is one thing, but hunting her down with a You're going a bit far now, my friend. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice to know they have standards, isn't it? Uh, yes, I, I, you know, <laughs> not quite sure... You know their their moral compass is is quite yeah, fucked, but there is yeah, there is something of a moral compass to them. I don't I don't quite understand where the line is for them, but um, apparently this is past it. So I guess they draw it murder. I suppose is the is the is the, is yes. the line they draw. Maybe maybe or or maybe just murder with dogs. I don't know. Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh... Maybe it's just the dogs that that's taken it too far. Um, but of course, yeah, the servant girl has escaped the the estate. Uh, so here you go, gives chase. Yeah, Hugo does say, uh, "I will try something along the lines of I will track her down, or the or the hounds of hell will take me." Yes, he does. He he tempts fate. He does. You're absolutely right. Um, and uh, he 
Uh, he escapes and catches up to her. Uh, his horse, I, I really like this, his, his horse stops and he shouts yeah. at the horse. He's like, the fuck are you doing, horse? And then he looks yeah. up and he sees the girl and he's like, yeah, the horse was doing you a favour. Like, Because if, if the horse hadn't stopped, you, you would have gone you straight past her. Yeah, you hear the, the howl as well, don't you? You, you do, like, yes. You hear the ominous howl. Um, and of course, she's taken refuge in like the Abbey ruins. Um, uh-huh. And uh, he finds her. He catches up to her um, and... Uh, basically in a fit of rage pulls out a yeah. dagger um yeah. and and stabs her it's a jalaba i think i yeah. think it's called jalaba yeah they say later it's like it's, it's a very old uh well it would have dagger. been i think it's contemporary for this period i think for his, but, but yes. is it contemporary for this period i thought it was like so. older but me maybe right um but in any case upon stabbing her he hears a howl yeah um, and he uh, kind of suddenly feels like he's he's being stalked, and um, of course, uh, the hound attacks and kills uh, Sir Hugo. And, and uh, again, I think the same with the with the fireplace scene. I think there's a there's a, probably more there's gory cut with the da- mm. I think there's more with the da- with the knife. I think that that was cut. Yeah, yeah, that that makes sense. Um, but then, of course, we transition. I like this transition. We transition did, into yeah. the the story of what happens, and uh, he's uh, a reading from the newspaper, uh, Doctor Mortimer. Doctor Mortimer is yes. Uh, reading the newspaper, um, and uh, and he's like, I, I, I guess he doesn't know Holmes. No, uh, but he's kind of reading it all, and he reads it. It's very. He's got a very good voice. Um, yes, he has. Francis De Wolf, and uh, it, and it sounds great, and it sounds really, uh, you know, terrifying. This this terrifying curse, and uh, you know the 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 the, the misfortune of the, the Baskerville family. And then he finishes and it's like, he doesn't know Holmes. So he's like, what do you think of that, Holmes? And Holmes is just yeah. like playing chess. Like, I don't give a fuck I, about I this. Like... The, 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 the camera pans across to, to uh, Holmes and he's he's stretched out on, on a, I don't know whether it's a, a chaise long or It a, looks or like a, a kind of chaise long. But he's got his sort of hand. Like he's really considering face. what and was he, being said. He looks bored mm. it, it, it almost, it oh do like, you think he looked bored i thought he looked like oh, he was I really thought, thinking which is when he no, did the, the chess bit but i thought he looked more like he was he, it was I, th- I thought it was more of a face that said i can't why the hell am i listening to this utter dribble well he does he does say that um he, he yeah. of course he he moves the chess piece he's like ah yes, yes. Uh, moves the chess piece um which i didn't actually check but i'm, I'm assuming as a checkmate um, I, I guess. I, I'm I, assuming. Yes, I, I didn't I, actually look at it too closely, no, but I'm, I'm assuming. Like Taking liberties here, but I'm assuming it's <laughs> checkmate. Um, and and then he basically says, you know, why have what what's yeah, this got to do with me? To I think he says, you know, there there are countless, uh, you know, folk tales and myths like this. Why are you telling me about it? Yeah. Um, and and of course, uh, Doctor Mortimer is is pretty upset about this he's like well i've come all this way i you know i thought you'd be interested um but fine i'll leave uh and and then of course Holmes says you know there is something more important that you're not telling me here tell me what you actually came here to tell me yeah and and mortimer says um oh so you already knew uh and of course Holmes says no i i I didn't i don't know anything uh i I, I just he sees the date on the newspaper yeah, and he said, and what, how, when it was published, and what day it was published, and he works out sort of backwards from where, from what, what was, what he was doing, and uh, and something along the lines of whatever it is you've told you, you have to tell me happened and occurred in this period. Yes, yes, um, and of course Mortimer is like amazed by this. Uh, Holmes yeah. is just like, ah, eh, it's li- literally just logic. Like it's nothing that you shouldn't. I think he says something like, you know, uh, you know, uh, you shouldn't be amazed by people just using deductions <laughs> yeah. of logic. Basically, like I just did what anyone in his mind should be able to do. You know, that's why he says, uh, um, "I've got it here." There's, there's nothing remarkable about using one's eyes. That's right. Fantastic line. Um. And, and it's, I think this is the, the, the thing I like about uh, uh, Cushing's homes is he he comes across as a lot more jovial, I think, than um, a lot of the homes is. I think there's a glint because I think it's probably because it's actually Cushing. Cushing, yeah. And Cushing himself really slaved away looking into he he really researched homes. He had pr- provided his own wardrobe. 
as well. Fantastic. So he, he really, you know, really fell into this part. He absolutely loved doing it. So, and I think you can see the sort of little the, the glee that he he enjoys with with Holmes. And like I said, I think I I, I think that's why I, I I particularly like this version of of uh, yeah, the, the the Hound because of just because of his little glint and his glee in certain scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 definitely has those moments. Um, and of course, Cushing here, as he was in Dracula, in most of his films, the master of using props while delivering lines. He's got that yes. wonderful pipe. Uh, yep. he's got the chess pieces he's constantly doing stuff um, mm-hmm. the whole way through Dr. Mortimer of course uh, explains uh, what has happened In the he read in the local newspaper that Sir Charles uh, was discovered on Dartmoor um, uh, and that he was found by a servant I think yeah he was found by Barrymore I think. Barrymore that's right he was found by Barrymore yes uh, and uh, obviously the abbey is not too far away from Baskerville Hall yeah and he was, um, the cause of death being a coronary yes and and holmes says like um what was the cause of death i'm going to assume it was it was uh his heart yeah. um and then of course uh mortimer gives this this long description of what it is is like uh cardiac um something or other um yeah. And, and then um, Watson's basically like, which could cause heart problems. So basically, it's exactly <laughs> what Holmes said. Yeah. It's like, so Holmes was right. Um, and also, we, sh- we should also point out, actually, um, uh, Andre Morel is, is Watson. And this is... this is um, I this really point, like him as Watson. Yeah, I and really I think, like him. Um, a lot of people at this point still see would have still seen nigel bruce as, as, yeah. as watson yeah and for those who hadn't read the books but only know of you know watson from that i think this is one of the one of the, those times where you, you actually get a useful watson he's not very just useful a, i mean he's not just a bumbling old get like but like, no and with all the will in the all the love in the world i i love nigel bruce's oh yeah yeah absolutely watson. but he's so darling but he's not what he is really isn't watson but um Andre Morel is is fantastic as as yeah. Watson, and and also it should be noted that that Holmes is absent for like I don't know like forty percent yes. maybe of the story forty fifty percent so so yeah. it really does rely on on um, you know Henry Baskerville and and Watson they're they're kind yeah. of the the stars for the first half of the movie um, and which is, which is which is true of the book as well. It made you know. It's been so long since I've read that book. I, I say couldn't book story. Couldn't it's tell not that you. Long a book. It's not long. That long, but it's one of the longer ones. Mm, yeah. And this, and this is actually one of those things as well. The the um. So the story was written after the final problem. Right. Where he dies. So he was. They. He, they kept badgering him. Uh, um. Uh. Doyle to to um you know write more more home stories more homes so he wrote that he wrote this after he served in as a doctor in the, the boer war second boer war, oh really yeah he came he, he wrote this i think uh he wanted to write something a little more gothic so he wrote this and he succeeded and he did and then so uh, but, and it, so it's 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 an actual prequel so it's set before of the the final yes problem. yeah and then of course he was he got even more letters and I mean, I guess he made a rod for his own back, making quite possibly the best home story. And after he's already dead, and then and then everybody's like, yeah. well, no, you've got to bring him back." You've got to do it so now. You do, you're doing, to, yeah, you know, yeah, he yeah. Had to bring him back eventually. So, so yeah, there's, there's, he he brought him back afterwards. Um, yeah, and of course, Holmes uh, sort of again it just chastises this 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 poor man uh yep. dr mortimer and, and, and you know tells him you know i just want the facts in your own words stop reading the newspaper and tell <laughs> me in your own words what happened yeah <clears throat> um so of course he relays uh, what happened um and, and then the word the word uh dog tracks yes dog tracks and it appeared that he was tiptoeing and i mm. this bit i was like how dumb are you mortimer like this yeah. is really stupid like uh, i guess it was done to make holmes look clever but it kind of just makes dr mortimer look like an idiot to me he's mm. like well he must have been tiptoeing because he was only using like the, the front of his feet and not his, his heels and it's like he was obviously running <laughs> Ob- obviously yeah. that's running then but apparently doc the doctor doesn't realize that humans yeah. run that way um <laughs> He was with really big strides. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What is wrong with you, Doctor Mortimer? You're a doctor, sir. 
like one of those cartoons when you see them when, the, the, you know, they, when they come yeah. tiptoeing in with great strides. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was doing. Uh, but of course, uh, Holmes agrees, ultimately, uh, and, and Dr. Watson shows Dr. Mortimer out. Um, and Dr. Watson's like, I'm surprised you even took this case on. Like, this, this guy's, like, his story's just, you know, it's a nothing story. Um, and Holmes says, well, it is, except for one key point which is the point about the the tiptoeing um and, and you're saying he was obviously running for his life um and i think this is where he he says is if for, he, holmes properly says about evil doesn't he he says he does there's a lot of talk of evil in this story yeah he really does he he he, <clears throat> he full-on talks about evil and, and yeah the, and the power of of, of uh of people doing evil deeds think, yeah okay, that's yeah. that's full-on okay mm-hmm. yeah yeah um, but of course, we we cut to uh, Sir Henry Baskerville, played by Christopher Lee, um, who is in his hotel room, and we get the first of, of a couple of these these kind of humorous moments where Holmes, at least Holmes, is mistaken for someone else. Yes, he kind of turns up, and and people aren't paying attention, and they just assume that he's someone else. Um, Sir Henry is uh, in his dressing room uh, in his hotel, and he's he's very annoyed because he's missing a. Uh, a boot or a shoe yes. um, which will become very important later <laughs> um, but he's, he's missing this boot and he's complaining about the boot and then uh, Holmes and yeah, Watson he, arrive he about it. I called you 20 minutes ago yes yeah he's, he's like called, I called you 20 minutes like ago manager or something. and of course the, like Holmes and Watson don't really make an effort to correct him they just no, let him go I, I love the, this, the amused looks they give each other yeah it's, it's yeah yeah well. They're just like, let him go, let him go. Um, and, and then, of course, he goes on and on and on, and it just it's it's quite it's quite funny. I I thought anyway. Um, and then, yeah. of course, Doctor Mortimer arrives and introduces them, uh, and Sir Henry is like, oh, he was like, I think Doctor Mort doesn't Doctor Mortimer say like, I hope I'm not too late, and and uh, Sir Henry's like, oh, well, long enough to make me <laughs> let me make a complete yeah. fall of myself. Um, so yes he he apologizes and of course they they accept his apology um and uh he says that you know um i'm i've got to say i'm I'm not keen on you guys being here i already said to to dr mortimer that i don't think it's necessary uh for for this to be investigated i guess as far as he's concerned it was just you know uh, a wild dog or one of his own hounds or something like that 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 killed him and it doesn't you know really he doesn't think there's some big plot yeah well he said i think he he says to uh, i think holmes asks him if he believes in the uh what he makes of the 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 story of the the story yeah and he says he doesn't believe in it and and uh holmes is delighted and says of course that that, that is you know we well we both agree on that then yes but he does say that that he he believes his life is in considerable danger yes um and um, he then starts to discuss uh, the amount of money. He was like, "Well, we no, like how much money was left to you?" Uh, and it and it turns out that, that Henry was in line for about a million pounds, which is a ludicrous amount of money for for the time this is set. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, another person was a thousand pounds, which Doctor Mortimer says he thought was way too much for the person that they were giving it to. Um, yep. And of course, Doctor Mortimer was was in line to receive forty thousand um, pounds, which of course he's the, he's the executor of the will, isn't he? Yes, and he was his best friend, mm-hmm. as he's quick to point out. Um, but you know, Holmes says, you know, the detail the details are everything and it's important that we know everyone and and what they were owed and everything else which is fair enough um so uh of course henry uh gets ready to to leave and he kind of uh he picks up his boot doesn't he he's kind of holding his boot he leans back against the table uh and holmes suddenly says you know don't move if you, if value you value your life. If you value your life, you mm. don't move. You and know, he kind of yeah. motions, uh, and of course, uh, Henry looks down and, and sees this tarantula crawling out of his boot. A tarantula is um, not deadly, to my knowledge, but this this no. this this movie is like no, it's a deadly tarantula. We'll but go with does, it. It's well, a Holmes, poisonous. Holmes does much later, he well, does when, when, he when does visit. Like, Holmes does say. Uh, Holmes does say. It's not deadly to anybody uh, to a no- to a normal healthy man, but to someone with a heart a condition. heart condition. Yeah. So the the idea it, I think was that it would give him a heart attack. 
Um, which is a running theme through this uh we obviously we've already determined that one of the uh the uh the family died of a heart attack yeah it it seems it suggests that the family has a A weak heart heart or something yeah 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 um and it's a great scene you you see the tarantula crawling up his arm um and and henry is is terrified paralyzed in fear in fact uh to where holmes you know sweats and and, and Holmes uh, says, "Like, move your head so that he can hit the thing off with his uh, with his cane." Uh, and and Christopher Lee says, "Like, I, I can't, I can't move." Um, and he's like, "Well, you know, if you want to live, you're, you're gonna have to." Move. <laughs> yeah. Um, and of course, he uh, Holmes kills it. Um, Doctor Massive, uh, Watson's like, "I'll take it from here." Dramatically as well. Yeah. Uh, Peter Cushion like slams this 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 cane in several times, and there's a pause. And then he does it again. <laughs> it's like making sure it's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely a dead tarantula. And of course, this that's um, not in the in the story either. There's no tarantula. No, no, no. There's no there tarantula. Is, I don't think there's any any. I don't remember there ever being a mine either or any of that uh, stuff. There is a mention. There is mention. Is of there the mention mine. of the mines? Yeah, that's where. That's where. Uh, that is where he hides the dog. Oh, it is. Is it okay? Hides. Yeah, maybe I'm misremembering there because I was watching this, the movie. I was. I don't remember that being in the book. The, but. Um, there's a bit that's cut out well a bit that they don't use which is where um mortimer and, and um sir, sir henry leave and they follow them at a distance and there's a, a carriage following them um and a gun comes out and they get someone goes to shoot um sir henry and i think they ch- they kind of chase him off right and later, in the story late uh, they they get the cabbie and they they bring the cabbie in and they ask who their their fare was, and the and the cabbie says, "Oh, it was Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He said he was Sherlock Holmes, and he wanted me to follow them." And so, of course, they find it very amusing. But yeah, so the, they completely cut that out of, in the, of this version. Oh, interesting. Um, um, one, of, one of the things I will also say about uh, again with the, the 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 way that almost everybody is sinister in this, even Sir Henry has a sort of. Maybe it's just because it's Christopher Lee playing him, but even Sir Henry has this sort of like um, slightly more um, severe demeanor that I think he that um, Henry has in a lot of versions. I think he's usually he's usually comes across as more of a gentle human, you know, like a gentle man. Well, yeah. Like you, a, when you first you first meet Henry, you could mistake him for the villain. To be honest, yeah. you could be like, oh, is is like you know if you didn't know the story you could be like oh my god is henry actually like a bad guy here yeah. um you know maybe he's the one that killed you know killed the other family members uh yeah. uh but yes yeah you're and right they, cha- he is. they change where he's coming from as well because in the story he's coming from canada yes yeah and uh in this version he's coming from south america uh, south africa yes yeah um so uh you know Holmes says, I, I'm, you know, I'm concerned your life is in considerable danger. Uh, yeah. and, and Henry says, well, if you're that concerned, why don't you come to London with me today? Uh, yeah. We can pack your stuff and, and you can come with me. Uh, and Holmes is like, today, I, I can't leave London until the end of the week. Um, yeah. But Watson's months, not doing yeah. anything. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love the way he says that. But Watson's not doing anything right now. <laughs> He's not busy. Let's give him something to do. Uh, so, yeah, so he sends uh, Watson... Uh, in his stead with uh, with Holmes you know saying he'll he'll catch up basically and he gives strict instructions to Watson he's like do not let him out of your sight and he says to Henry you have to promise you cannot go on the moors like do not go on the moors Um, and Henry reluctantly agrees Um, and uh, yeah sometime later uh, Henry Watson and Dr. Mortimer arrive in Dartmoor um, and they they stop briefly as Dr. Mortimer is about to leave the carriage um, and um, as they're about as he's about to walk away uh, the cart driver uh, tells him you know you probably shouldn't be walking around the moors on your own Perkins is about it, isn't it? yes Perkins yeah. that's right yes I was trying to think of his and, name and he, he's he actually a couple of times he says things and it's sort of like Slightly impertinent the way he says it. It's Very. Like, oh, it's like, hello? dude, dude. You know Someone your... doesn't know their place. Yeah, know your place. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, he says you shouldn't. You shouldn't walk alone because there is a, an escaped prisoner, um, man yeah. who was sentenced to death, called uh, Selden. Um, he was sentenced um, to. Oh no, sorry, yeah, he's what... sentenced to life imprisonment, not not yes. death. Uh, Watson. Uh, he says something along the lines of what? Uh, uh, Henry says something along the lines of I. I thought they. Uh, hung 
murderers in this country. And yes. Watson says, if he remembers right from the case, um, he was considered insane and therefore uh, consigned to prison instead of being hung. Yes. Uh, so he's escaped from Dartmoor prison. He killed, se- se- killed several women, I think he says. Yes, yes. He, he was a serial murderer of, of, of women, I think. Um, yeah. And has ended up in Dartmoor prison, but has now escaped and is roaming the moors. Um, but... Um, of course, Doctor Mortimer says, "Ah, don't worry, I'll be fine." <laughs> he, yeah, if like I know how to handle myself, I'll yeah. be all right. I'll be all right. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, the, what, we we should also say there there is a great moment here which I really like <clears throat> with uh, with Perkins saying like he was probably better off staying in prison because escaping he'll either starve to death on the moors yeah. or he'll find something far worse or he'll come to a far worse end so you get that kind of he believes in the myth of yeah. of the the beast you know um of the hound uh he obviously buys into it and and dr mortimer immediately is questioning he's like what do you mean by that and perkins is like oh no sorry it's just my own stupidity just ign- <laughs> yeah. ignore me um but i love it. it it really does heap on the the mysticism and and kind of uh local urban f- knowledge and fear of this creature yeah. uh this this kind of urban legend um so yes they uh they then head up to uh to baskerville hall without dr mortimer who's buggered off um and uh there they meet barrymore don't they yeah barrymore and his wife yeah um and he gives them a tour Bar- barrymore played by the wonderful john le Mazare, who's yes he's fantastic brilliant actor absolutely fantastic actor um he shows them uh gives them a tour of the house and he shows them a, a portrait of sir hugo yes uh tells him like you know the legend of the the the, the hound um and sir henry notices that there is a missing portrait mm-hmm. yeah uh, the pit- the portrait next to Sir, Hen- uh, Sir Hugo is missing. Yes, uh, and of course they're told that it disappeared a few week, a few months ago, in in mysterious circumstances. It just disappeared, and, and no one knows why. Yes. <clears throat> um. So yes, later uh, Watson is uh, finishing his meal, and uh, Henry offers him a toast. Um. But Mrs. Barrymore uh, is is uh, upset. She drops a glass and excuses herself, um, yeah. which causes Watson to ask Barrymore uh, about the death of Sir Charles, um, because Barrymore, I think we've established, was the, the man who found the body, wasn't he? Yeah. He's the one. Yeah, who found I think the he, he says he says that um, his wife's nerves have been shot since the since uh, Sir, Sir Charles died. Yes. Yeah. And of course, the, that, that, uh, that's that's kind of the it's like well that makes complete sense, doesn't it? yeah 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 um and of course that leads uh watson to ask about the body and leads watson to also ask if uh barrymore believes in the legend of the hound and and barrymore tells watson he believes in it because he has heard the howl he's mm-hmm. heard the howl himself yeah uh, i think he calls it a terrible howl yeah um uh so yes um uh, then I think we 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 cut to the the middle of the night, don't we? With Watson waking up, at the sound of a woman yeah, the sound moaning. Sound of a woman crying. Yes. Yeah. Um, but he he looks around and can't find anything. Yeah. But there <clears> is. <throat> they do. I think he does see the light underneath one of the doors. Oh, that's right. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And they they I think they go. Uh, does Sir Henry wake up as well? I can't remember. I'm not quite sure. I know in the, sure. in the, not in the story he does now i can't remember whether he did or not right but i think he goes to, they go to the window and there's, there's a candle there but there's nothing else yeah yeah and i think he goes back to bed sort of thing yeah um so the following morning uh the uh, local vicar i forget his name uh he he stops by to uh, uh the bishop bishop it was the bishop isn't it yes bishop bishop bishop, yes. bishop. played play by uh miles millison who who again it's 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 a similar role to the one he had in um in Dracula. Yes, yeah. He's got that... He's this, this sort of doddering, uh, clearly <laughs> drunk... Um, yeah, yeah. Bishop. Mm-hmm. I, lo- I love the way he, uh, he's, he sort of mentions that he was friends with Char- Sir Charles and that he always had the best port, I think it is, in the in the country. Yeah. Or sh- was it Port or Sherry? I, thought, I forget Sherry, which one it is. Sherry? Oh, I want to say that. He's, he's, and he, he sort of like... He's like, hint, 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 hint. And, it, and, the, and, and are you... Are you <laughs> because so, uh, so he invites him he invites him for a sherry doesn't he as well <laughs> yes, it's like, like please be my enabler <laughs> yes. please be my enabler yeah and he's sort of, you, 
can see the smile on his face when he sort of calls for a, for a drink. And I like the way Barrymore has already got it. He comes through the door. He's like, ah, I saw the bishop coming up the path sort of thing. And I, I took the liberty of already, like, you know, just having a drink. Yeah, I got, got the drinks ready. Yeah. 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 And it, I love the way he, he, he drinks the first one. And of course, Sir Henry doesn't doesn't partake. So he's all oh, well if it's going to go to waste, sort of thing. And he just takes the other, takes, starts drinking the other one. And then he's he um, Watson comes in and he says, uh, "Sir, so I'll introduce you to uh, Doctor Watson." And he says, "Ah, oh, Watson." He says, "Knew a Watson once, notorious white slaver. Nice chap, though." Yeah, he's <laughs> like, he's like, are you related? And then Watson's like, "No, yeah, I, I don't Watson's think like, so." I don't think so. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, uh, but yes, so, uh, oh, um, yeah, he basically, oh yes, Henry uh, asks he, Mrs. Mrs. Barrymore to donate an old suit to the jumble sale. Yes, he, he asks about a jumble sale, and, uh, and uh, so Henry doesn't actually know what a jumble sale is. Yes, and, and then he, we get an he, explanation of what a jumble sale is. Yeah, yeah and he says that you'll, you, of course, you'll have to uh, judge the uh, most, was it most beautiful baby and mother competition? Something like that, yeah. Which, which of course, the, Charles apparently loved doing when, uh, before. Mm-hmm. And I do like the way the old man sort of like stumbles, keeps stumbling into these sort of like slightly, um, uh, well, sort of not rudenesses, but he, he he sort of speaks about Sir Henry, and then he sort of realizes that he's he's gone a little too far, and that he, he you know he, he's being slightly disrespectful, but he's yeah oh oh he's dead, you know he's like oh well oh dear you know I, I, mm. I, maybe I shouldn't have said that sort of thing yeah <laughs> um uh, but of course uh, Watson um heads out and stops by the post office um, where yep. he gets a telegram from Holmes which uh, reminds him um, that uh, Henry should delay. not be left on the yeah. uh, alone or to go out on the moors uh, at night so uh, Watson quickly uh, heads back to Baskerville Hall through the moor mm-hmm. uh, where he meets Stapleton doesn't he yes. Yeah. Um, he's about to step on a trap, and uh, Stapleton uh, warns him not to, not to go any further. Not yes. to go any further. He, he sets the trap off and shows him. Watson is kind of infuriated about the, the trap. About, he's like, yeah, he's, you know, why would you use such a horrible trap? You know, more humane ways to kill kill a, an animal, mm, like shooting. Why don't you uh, use a gun? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then, of course, he sees his hand. <laughs> he shows him his uh, his hand with uh, webbed webbed fingers. Yeah. Yeah. And he also, then he sort of said, I love the way this, again, with the sinister characters, this guy is full on. Oh, God. Yeah, sinister. yeah. And he says, he says something about um, uh, car- car- cartridges cost money, uh, money we don't have. ain't got have. much and around he here. he says yeah. that he, he works the farm uh, in Sir Henry's lands. And he, he constantly, he's constantly going how poor they are and how, oh, it's poor land and we can't do this. Yeah. And it's, it's, everything is fucking awful. <laughs> And he sort of says, "Don't go this way. Don't do that." And it's like, "Okay, right, fine." And you can see, it's almost like uh, so Watson's like, oh, "I think I might get away from this guy now." <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> um, and he he does warn Watson as he's leaving to stick yeah, to the Watson, trail. He says, uh, he, uh, "Watson asks him. Uh, he says he's got a bit lost. He asks for the way back, and he says, go, you know, follow that. Follow that. I think the fork, turn, take the fork to the right. I think he says. Yeah, something like that. Because um, you don't want to end up in Crimp and Mire. Grimp yeah. and Mire, I think Grimp, it is. Grimp, Grimp and Mire, yes. Yeah. Um, so he heads down the path, um, and uh, there's really obviously a woman sat on the rocks, but he doesn't notice for quite a while somehow. Yeah. Um, and then finally, he, he reaches the end of the path, basically, and he looks around and he sees um, Cecil. Uh, the the daughter I think of uh, yeah. of of Mr Stapleton, um, and uh, Watson asks her if this is the right path to Baskerville Hall because he's a bit lost, um, yeah. and she doesn't answer, and then suddenly runs uh, and again, runs away. It's that whole the way she's sat and the way she's I mean it's, it's she's almost sat what, what, you, what you would say for Victorian purposes terribly immorally. She's got yeah, her, it's not yeah. She's sat with her legs open and mm. she's. She's sort of hunched over, and she has this almost sort of sneer on her face when she sees him. Yeah. I, I guess because I think all, when Stapleton presumes that Watson's uh, Sir Hugo doesn't. He? Sorry, yes, he does. Yes. When he comes, and I'm guessing that she presumes the same as well. Oh no, she thinks she's Sir Henry, doesn't she? Yes, that's yeah, what I mean. That's what I, mean. I, think she, I presume that she thinks that. He, what did I say? You said Hugo. I'm not Sorry, sure where yes, I'm from. No, but yeah, Sir yeah, Henry, yeah, yeah. Sir, Sir, Sir Henry, Henry, yeah. 
um yes yeah, so uh yes yeah, so yes yeah i think that's i think you're right i think she assumes that as well um and and runs um and of course watson follows her kind of out of concern really he's like yeah. hey wait, wait well what's going she, on she clearly knows a path amongst the so she she very dexterously leaps yes a, a, along and, this, and this. watson very clumsily <laughs> fails <laughs> miserably um <laughs> and he and stapleton was not exaggerating about this mire no. It, it's like properly deep and gross um of course watson watson falls in uh and he's kind of up to his neck in the stuff um yeah. and uh presumably uh, might have I, I guess he might have managed to make his way out but uh I don't think he, I don't think he would have it wasn't own, looking good was it it no. really wasn't looking good um but stapleton uh rescues him um and yeah, calls to steal back, back over uh, Cecil, Cecil back. yeah he calls it back and they, they they pull him out yeah yeah um and then of course we're told that they're father and daughter um yeah. and um which again is different from the story uh in oh the is it story, yeah in the story really they're, they're um uh well they're, they're they say they're brother and sister right uh but it turned in the story it turns out that they're not brother and sister they're actually married oh okay and th- again stapleton <clears throat> in the story He's the, he he's this over eager sort of jo- jolly jovial fellow who sort of like seems only too happy to help and he's he's very mm. I think he's the naturist as well he's uh, he collects the bugs and things on the on the moor but he's yeah. he's very sort of like completely different to the way uh, he is in this in Stapleton is in this Stapleton in this is is full on um, sinister dad isn't he yeah he, yeah he, and, yeah. And, uh, she, she's the uh, the hot and top daughter sort of thing the femme fatale who's who's cl- also clearly foreign yes yeah we should, we should, you know yeah yeah have to have the, the clearly foreign girl <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's why she gets away with having you know being having her legs open and, and stuff and being sad sure they're just foreign. like ah she's not from she's, around here she she's doesn't foreign. understand she's, yeah she yeah um so um, of course they they take uh watson back to uh to baskerville hall yes in the little Trap, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, were you going to say something there? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, Watson and Stapleton go into the house um, and uh, obviously not realising that Sir Henry is out at the moment. Um, Cecil remains outside <clears throat> uh, and then, of course, uh, Henry arrives um, and uh, tries talking to her, but she's she's very rude. Yes. Uh, and uh, then, then again tries to run away. Um, but sir henry has a horse so that doesn't go well <laughs> um, so he, he catches her um and she kisses him and he looks very shocked and confused as you were yeah. to like what, what's going on um uh, and then of course stapleton turns yeah, up she, yeah she says she says um there, will no, you leave me no, alone now yeah, yeah. Leave me alone now, yeah. Mm. And, and she sort of makes out that her father is is somehow um you know um would see that what overprotective her, 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 i guess yeah talking to him would be a, a bad seeing her her talk to him would be a very bad thing sort of thing so but he, she makes it worse by kissing him so it's like what the, the, like if he saw this it's even worse now yeah exactly yeah. And, you uh, know she's like yeah. oh no he can't be seen with us talking but now i'm gonna He's kiss incredibly you incredibly confused yeah very confused what's going on right now. um but of course stapleton turns up and stapleton is far nicer to sir henry than he was to to watson he's yes. kind of like oh you know you'll have a warm welcome anytime you come down and you know whatever yeah. whereas when he saw watson he was like oh fuck you i get off my <laughs> land like you know yeah. Uh, so yeah suddenly he's, he's a lot nicer to sir henry um but yes so um later that evening um sir henry is is with watson or joined by watson and um this, they see the light again don't they under the uh, yeah. under the, uh, the, the the door um and um they then notice a light out on the moor uh which they think is a signal or someone in distress don't they they're saying someone signaling from the from the moors yes um and they they head out to to investigate um and they find selden don't they because at first they find the lantern just on the 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 rock don't they there yes um and then looking around they see selden the uh, the escaped convict um and uh, they give chase but then suddenly they hear the sound of the hound they hear the the, the howl of the hound yes. um and uh sir henry doubles over in pain yeah um and uh yeah his heart his uh you know yeah. it's a mild heart. heart attack i guess 
Um, yeah, I guess just like a. It's not that big of a deal because he he's yeah. he's up and about in no time. So I'm guessing it's <laughs> yeah, guess. not like a serious heart attack, but you know, no. some, something something went wrong. Uh, and uh, and Doctor Watson, of course, helps him back to the uh, the hall. Um, and he gets Dr. Mortimer to examine Sir Henry, um, yes. which Mortimer's a bit puzzled by. He's like, why did you ask me? Yeah, he's like, you're a doctor. And you're Surely a doctor. You, yeah. uh, but of course, he wanted a second opinion, basically. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Watson said, you know, he wanted a, a second opinion. Uh, and he wants Mortimer to stay and watch Sir Henry while he goes back to the moor. Yeah. He wants to head back to the moor to kind of investigate a little more. Um, and uh, Watson heads out to the Abbey ruins where he finds Holmes, who immediately is quite rude. He's just like, "Where? Why have you left Henry yeah. alone? Why are you? Why have you? What have you done?" Um, and I love the way this um, he, he appears, but it's almost he almost appears like Dracula. Yes, the, he does. From, he just appears out of the nowhere. Yeah. So he, he appears, and he's got that. Uh, he's got the um, what, the coach coat with the with the collar pulled up the, around his face, and, he, and it literally, he literally looks like a vampire coming out of the. Of, well, the, I, the, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm wondering if it was meant to be like, are we meant to think this was Selden potentially? Um, yes. You know, for a moment before we realise that obviously it's it's Pierre Cushing. Um, yeah. Um. So yes. Um. Watson asks, you know, what, where, where was um, where's Holmes? You know, where has he been all this time? And he says, oh, I've yeah. been out. I've been out catching Selden. <laughs> Four hours after you arrived, I, I arrived because I took the next train up. Yeah, yeah, because and you know he's been reading the reports and he's heard about Selden having escaped, yeah. um, and he's been uh, gathering some information from Selden. Uh, he's found out, you know, everything that Selden has seen while Selden was in hiding, um, and again we get this talk of evil, where where Holmes says there's more mm-hmm. evil in these moors than I have ever known anywhere. Yeah, you know he's like there's more evil here than I have seen anywhere else in the world uh, right now it's a very very hammer movie this it's very <laughs> such hammer, a hammer yeah. movie um, so... <laughs> <laughs> but he, said, he says you know that uh, when he asks him where he is and he says that uh, he left him with Dr. Mortimer so it should be fine yeah. and all that sort of thing and they basically head back to the uh... head back towards the hall don't they with the hall and they realize they see that uh, Mortimer's uh, trap is gone. Yes. He's, so Henry's on his own. And I, is it, then they, they, they hear, hear the, the scream, don't they? The I think they hear the hound. I think in the scream. Yes. Yeah. And they so they run to the uh, to where it is, and they see a body. Yes, which lying. they assume is Sir Henry. I think, don't they? Yes, it's because of the clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the suit, they they, they think they think poor Sir Henry has stumbled out and and uh, as. <laughs> and shrunk a lot. And he's no longer like seven he's, foot. He's no longer yeah, seven <laughs> feet tall. Stay there with a massive frame. Yeah. But um, when uh, Holmes goes to the, the body, uh, Watson stops him and says it's too dark to see. And you know, it, with his, with his own experience earlier on, he really doesn't want to end up in the mire again. No, no, he does. So I think he, he says, warns Holmes against that, doesn't he? He's like, yeah, oh, so you know, says, we, we'll we need to be careful. To come, we'll have to come back tomorrow in, when it's light to to retrieve the body yeah yeah uh, so they head back to the the house uh yes and uh, they find sir henry just casually yes. reading a book <laughs> yeah um and uh he he you know obviously they're quite shocked and oh, but pleased to find sir henry henry uh says you know i'm really pleased to see you holmes uh he's yes. he's pleased to see him now <laughs> before he yeah. was like i don't need you but now he's like oh actually yeah. actually i do need you um and uh he he asks you know who who the poor devil was who died instead of him yeah. um and uh holmes basically deduces that it was seldom yeah, uh, he, and he brings down uh, barrymore and his wife doesn't he yeah yeah and uh he he he, he talks to them and he he calls uh mrs barrymore by uh her maiden name which is the same as the is the, the the convicts yeah and uh of course she confesses that she, um she is the uh the sister of the convict and that even though he was a terrible person she still loved him it was still her brother and she couldn't leave him cold on yeah. the, out on the moor so she gave him the suit well, that was going to the jumble cell, I guess. Yeah, the suit that was going yeah. to the jumble cell. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, so that's that's how it happened. And I like the way that uh, Holmes tells Barrymore about the, the useless candle. Yes, yeah. Burning, 
that has no practical that has no use in the in the in the, uh, the window yeah yeah um so the next morning they return to to find selden uh, or the site of of, of selden um and um it's not there he's not there but there is some blood there and there is uh a dagger <coughs> yes um but um barrymore finds selden's body um which had been moved uh, presumably during the night um the body's been mutilated um and uh, i think holmes says something about it being a sacrificial rite of some yeah. kind he thinks has been performed um and um and yeah so uh they then i think they visit the bishop don't they about the spider yes, this is where we, we find out about the spider he visits the bishop who yeah. again <laughs> again mistakes him for someone else him for, for somebody from the uh from the, from the i guess the the tele um the telescope company yeah i guess the, he was going to get someone to fix his telescope and of Having course holmes immediately knows the solution and, and actually helps him yeah um, graphite, graphite grease yeah grease. holmes in this case like holmes just seems happy to help actually i, yeah, I guess yeah, he I has think... like a an interest in uh well, in, in astronomy start, himself he, he starts out being amused by him and then yeah. quick, it quickly turns when it when it's you know it's getting a bit much yeah and he, yeah. he asks about um he says that he's the is he the the the, utmost, the, the highest the living highest authority on uh, yes. on rare spiders apparently yes. um and he asks him about the the tarantula um and and he kind of finally admits yes i, I am missing yeah. a tarantula really i've cage. been terrified he's really cagey about it at first and and, mm. and, and sort of move, moves away from the subject but holmes presses him and sa- says that you know that this this uh tarantula turned up in london he was like I couldn't possibly have turned up in london that's way too far for a tarantula to get sort of thing. yeah and he he finally admits that you know he is missing a tarantula he's been worried sick about it but holmes is very very quick to say well don't worry about it it's dead now yeah it's so. dead now yeah <laughs> i made sure of that because i hit it many <laughs> many times yeah, with this cane it's, it's incredibly flat and then i stopped and then i did it again to make <laughs> absolutely sure that it's dead <laughs> um but yeah, so uh, so obviously we know. And again, bit. I loved it, the whole sort of the, the the bubbly the bubbling sort of thing with that with this guy and the way he he's got his he starts looking through the telescope. Holmes just walks away. Yeah. Holmes, Holmes is gone, and he's like Ooh, still look talking. At this. Yeah. He's like you, you you must come and have a look at this. Come and have a look at this. And he turns around. He's like, oh, uh, oh, he's gone. It's, uh... <laughs> Brilliant. I love. It's I, great. I, do love, I think that I can. I know that, that I know. I've spoken to people that hate that character and hate the uh, i like him it, hate his character in dracula as well but i love those little fun yeah it, it's those bits of levity that i really enjoy to be honest every yeah. now and again it's fun um so yes again, uh, I, don't, I don't think there's a bishop in the uh, story either oh is there I not think, yeah i think it's another character that's uh, ah. the, the, the sort of busybody with the uh telescope right if right. i remember rightly um so meanwhile sir henry uh actually visits the stapleton co- cottage um i think he knocks but no one answers so he just lets yes. himself in um yes. well i mean technically it's his so. it is his yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> it is technically his uh, his his uh cottage um so uh cecile uh basically a, 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 asks him why he's come here again it's like yeah he does own it like he can go yeah. wherever he wants <laughs> she's like why did you come here um and she really does have this whole up and down yes uh, she's all over the place personality doesn't she she's yeah. really sort of like oh like oh i like you but i don't like you oh i like you but i don't like you so it's, there's a real sort of you know he must be amazingly confused by this woman yeah i mean he she is like she's like why did you come here and also you're invited to dinner and like it's like what? Yeah. Would you like some? Would you like some cider? She offers him. Some cider. Yeah, she offers him some cider as well. Um, yeah. And, so. and then they 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 kiss, and then of course the uh, the father turn uh, comes into the room and sort of he sort of pulls back. Yes. Sort of, you know, like, oh dear, it's it, it, the, the father's turned up, but he's sort of surprisingly amiable he seems okay with it i, I guess he's like well i guess if you two get married then my yeah. fortunes are going to change quite I substantially yeah. that's one way of us getting out of this poor situation it um is. yeah because you, you'd think he'd be furious but he's kind of fine with it um yeah he asked for another he asked for another uh glass another yeah. uh, tank for, for a drink for himself yeah yeah 
And I think there's also there's also a bit where uh, when Ce- Cecile comes in, uh, Henry's looking at a, a, like a picture, yes, um, which is of uh, her Cecile's father and her mother, and she explains that uh, she was she's Spanish and that she hates England and that she hates she wants to go back to Spain. She yeah. hates the when, when her, her her mother died and that they were brought back to this bloody awful country sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Um, meanwhile, Holmes and Watson uh, meet Dr. Mortimer and, and basically confront him, um, you know, thinking that he had basically uh, something to do with the, the death of Sir Charles, effectively, yeah. and the attempts on Sir Henry. Um, we also, we, also uh, we, we did forget that they... Um, oh, we've been doing so he, well. He we left, did so well to get to this did. point without forgetting something. God damn it. Mort- Mortimer left, left Sir Henry... Uh, because they argued. Yes, you're right. That's why he was. And um, when they, when Mortimer comes back, he says how disagreeable Sir Henry is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, they ask about the uh, the old tin mine. Yes, and, and I, lo- I This is another one where I love the uh, the, the the massive theatrics. Yeah. Of, of of Holmes, where he talks about the. They're talking about the uh, the. the uh, the hound and stuff and how how he seems more fascinated than he you know he, he's you so eager to tell, tell about this story and stuff and i love the dramatic way he turns around and goes this stagger and he throws it yeah he's literally it's like <laughs> dude you could have like accidentally hit him with that knife because <laughs> he, he like embeds it into the table doesn't he, he he's does, like, yeah, bang, he's like this dagger throws it into the table uh, and Mortimer's quite cool about it, though, to be honest, considering. Well, he's, he actually does look sort of shocked. He, a little bit, just... but he's, he's like, oh, I yeah, it's one of those daggers. Yeah, okay. yeah he asks <laughs> he asks him about that, the, the history of the dagger, and he, he says, you know, where it comes from. He says, oh, yes, it's a, it's a you know, a, 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 an old dagger sort of thing. Yes, he says that it, it was used to, uh, used on Selden and... Um... Yeah, it was used by <clears throat> Sir Hugo uh, to to kill his, uh, to kill the the the, uh, the, the servant girl uh, and he says but the, how old do you think the blood is and he says it's you know it's fresh blood using yeah. some diabolical ritual yes yeah um and of course yeah they, so they ask about the tin mine um and uh head that way to explore it yeah we did actually again we, we did forget that the, there's a scene here with holmes and watson on the, in the in a trap they're talking about the, the the details of the case and uh Oh yes, it, of course. Watson mentions something and uh, about the, the sound of the. Uh, I think it's the the sound of the hound coming as if from under the earth. Sort of thing. Yes, but which is what's from, leading Holmes from hell. To, and yeah. Holmes, of course, realizes he's missed something and says, oh, "How could I? You know, sort of, how could I been so stupid? I, I, I really must pull myself together." And again, it's I, I love the uh, Cushion's performance here is so so beautiful the way he, it is. He chastises himself for being an idiot. Yeah, he's thing. just as angry at himself as he is with anyone else making yeah. mistakes, basically. He's like, I should have known better than this, and he does chastise himself as yeah, well. Yeah, he asks for a map, and that's yeah. what he, he asks about the tin, and then we go to the... Yeah, and then we head to the mines with Dr. Mortimer uh, and uh, Stapleton as well. Stapleton, yeah. Yeah. Um, Watson obviously uh, stays above, mm-hmm. um, and... Um, and the, so the, this the, is where the mire seeps through to, isn't it? Isn't it for the water from the mire ends up in the in the part of the mine or something? I think. Yeah, I think they they they, they basically say that it's abandoned and it's it's rotten and and, and uh, Mortimer does say Mortimer really doesn't want to go down there. No, Mortimer, yeah, because Mortimer says, um, you know, oh, it's it's uh, like ancient. I haven't been there in years. It's yeah, all it's rotten and 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 uh, Holmes is like, how do you know it's rotten if you've not been there in years? Um, yeah, and he says, well, it just stands to reason, doesn't yeah, it? It's, it's, yeah. You know, it's just been abandoned for this long. It must be, yeah, you know, rotten. Yeah. Um, and so when they and when they when they're at the bottom, and they're going through this sort of thing, and and uh, he's he's terrified when Holmes nearly touches one of the one of the uh, the props. Yes. Says, don't touch, touch it. The whole thing will come down. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, of course, uh, Holmes is basically looking for bones. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what he asks him. What what will he, is he hoping to find? And he says. Uh, what else would you find under the earth but, but bones I think he does like that. yes yeah 
Um, and uh, yeah, so <clears throat> Holmes starts exploring deeper while uh, Stapleton and Mortimer um, are with an old mining cart, aren't they? Yeah, they they they, <clears throat> knock, like, they knock them the cart and it it moves. Yes, uh, and then they uh, uh, Stapleton and uh, Mortimer pull it back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Holmes goes on ahead, and he finds evidence of uh, use and. I think he finds a bone, doesn't he? He, he finds, finds a bone, bone, yes, yeah. And um, he says, he says, you know, I find what I've come and looking for. I don't need to sort of go any further. Mm-hmm. And when he turns around, the cart mm-hmm. is coming towards him. Yes, but fortunately or unfortunately, I guess fortunately, it hits a beam yes. and uh, causes a cave in. <clears throat> I think we hear the howl as well around yes, this point. Yes, I think we do. Um, and uh, yeah, so so Holmes hurts his leg. Um, well, 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 we don't know that yet. First of all, we get uh, we get the um, we get Watson. To what we presume is later, and Watson's coming out of the mine. Yes, uh, yeah. Dishevelled and uh, with a with with uh, digging tools. Yeah. And uh, mm. Mortimer's there, uh, Stapleton, and uh, oh, what's his name? The um, Perkins. 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 Is, is yeah. There. And uh, Mortimer is like, oh, he's dead. Definitely dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no way he's, he's, he's survived that. And uh, Perkins says that well. You know, we would never be able to hear him with all that rock. He says, but you know, there's plenty. He, he could be su- He could survive. There are there's, other there's exits. Plenty, there's plenty yeah, of ways there's out. There's plenty of air. There's there's air shafts all the way along that. And and Watson says, well, can't we use that to you know what, to try and get to him? Yeah. To try and get to him. And they say, well, there's nobody old. There's nobody in the village old enough that would remember, you know, the ways down to the to yeah. The line. Um, and Watson's furious and says, "You know, we'll, we'll definitely find someone." And as they head back to the car, there he what, is. Uh, there he is. <laughs> Looking very pissed off. <laughs> yeah, and they're all kind of like, obviously, Watson's happy to see him and stuff. And Holmes is just like, "Look, yeah. I just want to get back now. My legs hurt. Let's yes, get on with this. Says, this my, you know." He says, so, so, I, "My leg hurts and I am hungry." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been sat here for ten minutes or something. Is it? Yeah. Sort of thing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they head back to Baskerville Hall, um, and uh, there uh, Henry in, invites Holmes and Watson to join him for dinner at the Stapletons. Yeah, well, first, first of all, the, um, Holmes and Watson are, are just, they're discussing. Um, Watson says, "There's all that fuss just for a beef bone." Yes, and, uh, yeah, for an old beef bone. And, and, and Holmes says, "No, not an old beef bone. This is a very new beef bone." That's yes, what, which which shows it's been inhabited recently. Yeah. Yes, and. Uh, um, so Henry comes in and, and what's uh, Holmes covers over the bone with uh, with a newspaper. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, and so Henry says, "Oh, well, uh, you know, we've been invited to uh, <laughs> to the Stapletons." And I love how 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 uh, he he basically says, "Oh, I, I, it's your peasant friends." He says, "Yeah, he's that. really rude, isn't he's he?" Really, really. He says, "Enjoy your, your your evening with your peasant pens, uh, peasant friends." I, said, I hope you enjoy their rabbit pie. so henry is absolutely furious yeah he's like i I don't like that holmes and and holmes is just like i thought you'd make my house sort of thing yeah but but holmes is like i i would have thought with your standing in society you would have met better people by now yeah i don't like the people that you're 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 associating with yeah and and he says just what you know you just remember you're a guest in my house and he storms out and Watson goes. He's like he's close Watson's to like, like he's close to Doctor Frankenstein in this moment. He's just real yeah. like Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> like, whoa. And, and Watson sort of goes, "Well, that was a bit." And he, and he says, "Don't talk such so nonsense." I was being I was being like that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You know, it, just like he was in the beginning where uh, with Doctor Mortimer, where he's like, yeah. you know, I just had to get rid of all that I'm pomp and winding him up yeah, on purpose to yeah, get to the to point. get to the point. Um, and he says to the he says, uh, "Fetch me my tobacco." So it's in the top right-hand drawer, and uh, Watson goes over and he says, "No, it's not." And he, oh, he's I love very, her. He's, again, again, he's he's actually very angry. He's like, "Well, I put it there myself. Of course, it's there." And he says, "No, it isn't. It's not there at all." And he says, "Is the dagger still locked in the bottom, in the bottom drawer?" And he goes to the bottom drawer, and of course, it's been busted open. Yeah. He says, "No, the dagger's not there. The the, the tobacco is actually on the top of the, of the of the dressing table." Yeah. I, I do love uh, as well uh, when when after Doctor Mortimer leave uh, left earlier, uh, I, I love it when Holmes is like, "Find my tobacco." This is a this is a two pipe problem. Yes, that's <laughs> just reminded me. I love that line. Yes, that, that's <laughs> the very earlier. 
again, that's that's all that's all stuff that was added by um, all the little homes details were all added by Cushion. That's great. That's great. Yeah, like even even to things like um, there's a on the in in the Baker Street apartments, there's uh, on the mantelpiece there is a Holmes's correspondences mm. with the uh, are pinned with a jackknife to the to the mantel. Yeah, and he added that as well. He was he, he all those little details Cushion added. That's awesome so awesome um so yeah the dagger is missing um and holmes of course has learnt that sir hugo's hands are webbed um yes like stapleton's yeah i think we did miss that as well when they were going up the stairs and he says wow. he, he questions about the, the picture doesn't he right here and he says he said it, it went missing weeks ago mm. and and holmes says of course it did that, you know, that, that explains like, it yeah it's like yeah, in his, his, walk, his head he's like, like yeah well, let me explain it to us then yeah <laughs> I mean, yeah we know i know the story so we know what, what, what yeah, way, of but, course yeah but uh, yeah of course and uh so he, yeah and um he basically home says that you know uh if the daggers with the dagger gone of you know obviously this definitely means that uh they intend to kill him tonight yes so we have to basically you know we have to get on and and go yes we need the we need more dracula running music quick we need more dracula running music <laughs> and they do have that that the, the uh the sort of the the light coming from the the uh, the abbey and things yeah like yeah it's very reminiscent very reminiscent yeah it's very it's re- I like you said it's very hammer it's, it's, it's oh it's so hammer I mean the the mist and everything in this movie all the way through as well yeah uh, it, it's very very hammer looking um and uh, I love it for it it's great <laughs> um so yes uh, I believe uh, Henry is with uh, Cecil at this point up at the um up at the ruins um and uh yeah so um there's an, with their initial sort of kiss and then she yeah. sort of slaps him yeah and uh, he's then, like you know, sir henry must be so confused at this point like, yeah what the hell is going on with this what is woman? going on with this woman um she basically explains that uh she was the one who uh she says that something along the lines of uh you you think you can have me the same way that uh, your your uncle did? Yeah. And she explains that she was the one who uh, basically got her got his uncle onto the uh, to the ruins and the and the same fate is going to happen to him. Yeah. And of course you hear you hear the the howling and and of course uh, Holmes and Watson of are here. They they yeah they've you know in the actual ruins so they they so they can see what's going on. Yeah. Um and. Uh... Yes, the 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 hound finally appears. Uh, yeah, it's and, like it stood above them, and it does and look I, quite menacing. I, I, to be I, fair, I was going to say when it first appears, that first initial shot—it's pretty good. I think that's quite an effect. I did too. Effect, I um, I was surprised at how effective that first shot was. If I'm honest, yeah, I was expecting it to look way more ropey. Uh, I actually <laughs> thought it looked quite good. Quite I mean, good. There's, so the 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 dog was called Colonel. Ah. Um, and he was a he, he basically hated everybody <laughs> he was a really horrible dog um apparently the, the only person he liked was this uh oh I'm trying to find her name there was a uh i think she was a set dresser she actually made the mask uh margaret robinson she she was charged with creating the mask and uh, i think she was she was the only one that the dog liked um the the dog uh the, the dog was a Sort of the, the, was a bit of a brute, and uh, I think he actually bit uh, Christopher Lee at one point. And they, so they, there was also, so when they, to make the, uh, they did what they did in, in, in Alien, what we were discussing the other week. They actually had a small boy dressed as um, Sir Henry. Yeah. Uh, and what they were planning on doing was the, the dog really didn't like the sound of crumpled paper. Right. So they've got the crumpled paper to, to sort of like, you know, to go so that he would be wound up and go for the sort of yeah. boy. However, what they didn't realise is that the dog didn't like small boys either. Damn. So, <laughs> so the dog charged at the, this small boy and uh, was caught by, the, I think, the prop man. At, Just in, in, in the nick of time. Moment and saved this poor boy from Damn. getting attacked by this dog. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is... This it's an effective they, shot, though. Apparently they 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 asked for two dogs. There was one that was this one, 
who'd apparently had once bitten a, bar, a barmaid, apparently. Right. And was another one which uh, which was uh, owned by Barbara Woodhouse, who, for anybody who doesn't know, was a really famous uh, dog trainer um, in, well, from around there all the way up to, I think, there was, like, she had programs in the 80s, I, I certainly yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would do, uh, she had this whole sort of, like, thing about, you know, training dogs and stuff. And apparently she... Uh, she wanted to do the stand-in for uh, Sir Henry, sort of thing, and she charged more money for the for her dog. So basically, they just went with the cheaper option. <laughs> like, ah, don't worry about it. What's the yeah, worst exactly. that can happen? It'll be fine. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, so the dog, uh, the hound, begins mauling um, Sir Henry and uh presumably this is where the dog actually bit him um yeah, and yeah. uh stapleton uh, uh appears well yeah because watson, goes, um, watson, watson goes, goes to shoot the hound doesn't he the yeah. hound and stapleton intervenes yeah and they have a brief sort of fight scuffle yeah um and uh, watson shoots stapleton yeah uh holmes shoots the hound mm-hmm. uh which then which then attacks stapleton. attacks stapleton yeah which, pres- which which does look very clumsy when it he, does when yeah he yeah and I, but I, I've always presumed it's because of the smell of blood. That yes, I would assume so. The dog yeah. moves to, to Stapleton because of the smell of blood. Yeah. And basically moors uh, Stapleton, yeah. I, I presume, to death. Which Presumably to death this time. Yes. Um, and they, uh, <clears throat> they finish, finish off the dog. Yes. and me, But meanwhile, of course, uh, uh, Cecil has C- tried to Cecile. kill Henry. Cecile, C- even. Cecile. Uh, uh, yes. And escapes. She escapes. She runs across the moor, and of course, uh, doesn't make it out. No, no, and they're kind of yeah, almost cold about it. Um, yeah, they sort of, they're all sort of <laughs> the only one who moves is Holmes. He he, he he goes to move. Yeah, and then they just stop and kind of let her go. Really. Yeah, yeah. Um, Holmes then ex- uh, explains about the the ma- takes off the mask from the dog. Now this. The, the the dead dog prop is pretty terrible. Yeah, it's not great. It's it's not a good dog prop. But I still I still love it. It's yeah, it's a, fine. A, 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 you know, a, a kitschy thing about it. But yeah, he explains that they made this mask to make the the beast more fearsome. And that I they starved it. They starved um, it and they, of course, of course, the boot contained yes, the quite, scent, and that's why his boot, boot was on, missing on uh, Stapleton. Yes. I think in the so in the the, the which might the, have actually been the other reason the dog mauled him, but yes, um, yeah. Oh, that's true. I didn't think of that. No, yeah, I didn't true. until right now. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, the boot. I forgot about the boot. Um, in the in the in the story, um, C- uh, Cecile, who was actually called Beryl, I think in the book. Oh, really? The story. Yeah, she. Um, they when they go, Lestrade is even in this story. They they get they call for sort of Lestrade to come up, and Lestrade comes up. Mm. Lestrade, sorry. Mm. And they um, they go to the house, uh, uh, Stapleton's house, and they find her tied up. She's right. tied up, and they 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 see that uh, he's been an abusive husband. Oh, okay. And uh, they sort of free her, and she says where he he has gone. He would uh, he's gone. They go to find him, and actually, from what I remember of the story, um, you you don't actually see Stapleton die. Oh, okay. He run he when they kill the when they kill the dog, uh, which is actually covered in, in phosphorus, I believe, mm-hmm. to make it look more. Uh, more. And um, they they don't see it in the dark. They, they 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 decide to leave it. And then when they come back in the morning, they follow his trail, which ends at the mire. But there's no actual evidence that he's dead. Right. It's just assumed. It's just yeah. It's um, just assumed. But of he, course, of course, here. It's uh, Cecile who, who, yes, uh, and and uh, yeah, like I said, they're 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 reasonably cold about it. Um, they they kind of you know, obviously she slips into the mire, is pulled under. Um, yeah. and I think Holmes just says, you know, um, the, the Moors the, claimed the, its the, final victim. Yeah, the, the curse claimed its last victim. Yeah, yeah. You know, nobody else will be claimed by this curse. Yeah. Um, and then of course we get the the, the, the great bit at the, the end of this movie with um, you know they're, they're back in London they get the the yep. portrait uh, showing yes. the deformed hand and the Henry shows them the portrait uh, says basically it caused all these problems I, I don't really want it no I thought I wondered if you would like it so they, he also they, included a very generous check uh, I love I love his he says it also include this check for ooh very generous <laughs> I love the way he says it. Yeah. 
very generous. Um, I love that. It's brilliant. And I, I love Watson asks Holmes, you know, like, how did it, what was the key to this this case? What what was the clue? Uh, and of course, Holmes says, you know, the missing boot put me onto the set. Yeah. So it's like he basically, from the start, he was like start, yeah. straight onto it. Um, which is great. I love it. And then, of course, we end with, with Holmes and Watson just having some tea. Yes. Um, I really like this version. It, like I said, it might not be the most accurate. It's been a long time since I read the no. book, but even, you know, being that far removed from it, I was still watching this, like, there's, there's, I mean, there's quite yeah, a few uh, bits. And, you know, like I said, they, they took liberties with what they had. They, they, yeah. they had access to these sets and these locations, and that's what they went with. But yeah. it's probably one of the most entertaining adaptation yeah well it's, I, th- I think it's probably got some of the best actors in any oh for, yeah that goes so, without saying for me um, yeah exactly and i think uh, because you know, even the, the more minor characters are, are played by fantastic actors here it, it, yeah, it's yeah, pretty much from top to bottom uh and and i think for it, it it's quite almost campy in places uh yes. but the the leads just bring it all together and, and mm-hmm. really keep the movie uh yeah. going um yeah i i love this and I, movie and i think you know this 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 is also the, the first uh holmes movie in color as well which oh uh, yeah yeah which, I suppose which it would is be kind of, just kind of cool yeah and <clears throat> like i said other versions of you know they've all t- most versions take liberty, liberties with it you know there's i, I know there's a there's a few versions that when the when they uh watson discovers holmes he's usually disguised as like a gypsy or something or you know yeah, yeah. There, there, are, there are liberties taken with all these stories so, so you know this oh it's the, fine the, yeah yeah things it changes it doesn't you know it doesn't really matter yeah and i yeah i, I, I think this is this is a this is a great uh version mm. and of course H- um hammer one planned to make more they were gonna they were this was planned to be the first in, in, a, series. Uh, in, a, in a series but it didn't do very well it um as some people have said, but you know, the audiences wanted a monster movie. They from Hammer, they didn't want a Sherlock Holmes movie, so they didn't basically turn up. So that it didn't do terribly well. So they they scrapped any plans to do further ones, which I I think is a shame. I'd like to have seen. I, I think it's a shame. This is the 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 kind of the have, easiest to adapt to Hammer yeah, anyway. Yeah, I think it might have been um, a problem how they would have. Adapt, I think they would have had to take even more liberties. Yes. Um with other stories to make them more gothic and yeah. make them more hammer um but i still would have liked i still would have liked to, to have seen a few more i mean uh cushion played what's uh played homes again uh later yeah and uh, uh I, I, I said before lee play is played uh not lee's played three uh homes characters yeah so he played henry in this uh he played uh mycroft in um the Private Life of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, which is a br- he's one fantastic of my, as one Mycroft. Of my favorite Mycroft. Yeah, he's uh, really good. That's I mean uh, that that movie is one of my favorite Holmes movies. Despite, I think again, that was one of the three we were going to do, wasn't was it? It was three, yeah, it was close between those these two actually. This, despite the uh, the the very odd Holmes in that movie, I really like that that movie. Yeah, uh, and of course he played Holmes as well in a, in a, a few things in the, I think the nineties he played. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah i think that's how christopher lee was, was very uh, into his, his his home stuff he was more than happy to play multiple characters in that in that uh yeah in that franchise yeah but yes that was the hound of the baskervilles from 1950 something 59 1959 um wonderful hammer movie and uh, highly recommended from us yeah um, but of course, we'll, and, uh, oh, sorry. And of course, we will do another Hammer movie. Of course, of course we will. Of course, we're going to do, gonna do uh, Frankenstein for Halloween. Are we indeed? Excellent, excellent. Yes. Um, oh, I can't wait to do that one. Um, that's a real treat. Um, so yes, wonderful. Of course, next week we'll be back to our usual review fair. Um, and uh, yes, until next time. Thanks for listening, and uh, you know, stay safe and all that. <laughs>